Hey everyone, I wanted to do something different um, this week. I know, what a fancy setup here, right? But I wanted to do um, like a little bit of a swatches and you know, to use both of my hands to show you the products. So let's get started and welcome to Weekly Makeup Basket. I hope you guys can see, you know, a little bit what's in here. Around. There we go. So let's get started this way. As far as for primer, I'm sorry you can see this box. <laughs> as far as for primer, I'm going to use this Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro Primer in number two. Look at that, guys. So, yes, and it had one fluid ounce. Um, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild. This is a Fergie. This is Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. And it's called For My Primes, the color, I guess. Let's start with foundation and BB and all that exciting things. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. This is a cover all and this is in 820 medium tan. I'm going to use the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream with a SPF of 35 in the color medium. I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfecture in Medium Sheer Tint. And I'm talking like a robot, right? Sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I bought this with this, but I've been using it up. Can you guys see? Like, I barely bought them not even a few months ago. Well, yeah, a few months ago, I guess. This is a Smashbox High Definition Concealer in Medium as well. And I'm using two correctors. I think I picked up two. One of them is Erase Paste from Benefit, number three, Deep. By no mean is this deep. I mean, it fits my skin tone, and I'm like a medium skin tone, medium color, and this is not, not deep, but I really do enjoy it. It's the darkest one they have, which is really weird. I have this Tarte CC Colored Clay CC Under Eye Corrector, and it is in medium tan. Um, I have yet to try this. This is new for me, even though it's not new in the market, so... I have yet to try that. Um, as another concealer, I want to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. And it was just sitting, but I have like this much left of that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to throw in this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in medium as well, if it will even. Okay, it's not wanting to focus at all. There you go. Well, as long as I tell you the color, I don't think you'll mind. Um, I'm trying to fix here. I don't know if it's going to focus. Uh, I want to use this Positions Formula. You know what? The uh, Physicians Formula, this is the BB Beauty Balm, and this is in, I want you to see me there, this is um, in light to medium, it has an SPF of 20, and it's quite shimmery, glittery, I don't know if you are able to pick that up, but it is shimmery, I don't know if you guys can tell, you can use it as a very light highlight, I'm going to keep on using this. To set on my whole face, I have this Milani, the multitasker in 05 tan. Um, I have bronzer. I don't know what this is doing in there, but this is new. This is a bio oil for me. It's new. I want to see if it is true that you know it kind of um, diminished the looks of scars and stretch marks and all that kind of good thing. And I'm gonna probably do a review, see if it works, and probably like three or four months when this is done. When this is all done, I'll do a review, see if it works or not. I'm going to use as blush. Well, let's start as cream blush. I'm going to be using this flower. And this is in... I forget if it's... Oh, it's Forget Me Not. And it's kind of a light, beautiful pink. Like of a neutral color there. I have the L'Oreal Visible Lift Cream Blush and Peach Gold Lift, which is such a beautiful color. Let me show you guys. See, 
see if you're able to even see that. All this, ugh, the camera never does it justice, but it's beautiful. As well as this L'Oreal Visible Lift in Pink Lift. Beautiful. I'm going to use this Fox in a Box. Fox in a Box <laughs> from Hard Candy. Look at those. Those has um, a quad of different uh, um, concealer <laughs> of different colored blushes. This is in Spice and Sweet. I also have this blush from e.l.f. It is very, very brightening. You're not able to see that. But look at that. Whoa. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, bang, boom. <laughs> and this, it can really be very blendable. But it's pretty, how would I say, not ashy, but um, it picks up a lot of powder. Oh, powdery. Why would I say ashy, right? I have this tart in Doll Faced. So you guys can see the imprint is gone. That's the color. I have the last but not least, right? This Bella Bomba from Benefits. And I really do like this color. Oh, it's a summery color. Very beautiful. Um, as eyeshadows, I am using single eyeshadows this week, which I'm using quite a few actually. One is for seeing if it's good for highlight. This is Elf Single Eyeshadow and it's in Sand Dollar. Yeah, it's just like a brow bone highlight or something like that. This is my, oh, talking about brow bone highlight. Oh my God, you guys. I've been loving this NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've made, I've made a dent in this bad boy. It's in CJ04 Beige. And I love it as a brow bone highlight. It's the best brow bone highlight. Oh my God, it's beautiful. If you have it, just try it as a brow bone highlight. You're going to be surprised. This is from Hard Candy. This is in Sandy Beach. A very beautiful color. This is from Milani Baked Eyeshadow, and this is in Copper Express. Beautiful. This is Elf Eyeshadow, and this is in Celebrity. It's their mineral eyeshadow. And I don't know who told me, but somebody told me that this is really good as a highlight. But it has shimmer, so I don't know. It's a very beautiful color, though. You could probably use it, like, underneath my, um... Um, I was about to say foundation. Um, no, moisturizer. I have this Maybelline Clutch 2 Pure Pigment and uh, it's not even going to focus, is it? Um, Buff and Tough, number 60. I love this Pixie, oh, Pixel. This is their Fairy Dust and Brightening Bear. It has like this wand. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful color I really do enjoy it. it has it's a satin which is not too shimmery or matte very beautiful okay as mascara last but not least you guys I promise this is the end almost this is the covergirl last lash blast 24 hour they have this has like gold specs I bought a lot of these because I think these were limited edition I, I have like five or six multiple backups of these this is such a beautiful, oh my god, I recommend it so much. It's limited edition, but if you buy just the Lash Blush, the regular one, it's beautiful. This is the Maybelline, the Mega Plush Volume Express. Uh, very beautiful as well. I love it. If I don't like a mascara, I won't use it no more. And this is the Maybelline Master Smokies, and this is in Blue Blaze. Let me see give you a swatch just a little swatch see if it works and once it's that one right there I know it's a hideous swatch but it's that one right there I have I don't know if I'm gonna use this this is from flower and I don't really know what it is but it's it's like a chubby stick it's like an eyeshadow primer eyeshadow like a tattoo color tattoo it's not that but it just, it just goes away. I'll probably use it as a highlight, like as a brow bone, a cheek highlight or something. This is from Physicians Formula. This is a, this came in a trio. It's from their nude line. Oh, this is such a beautiful color as well. It's the second one right here. I have this Milani eyeshadow and 
This is an 03 Champagne Toast. Oh my God. Such a beautiful color. So creamy. Oh my God. I have this Milani in 01 Precious Silver. Oh, this is beautiful as well. And look, look. I don't know if you guys can see, but the tip just fell off. Oh, heartbreaking. Okay, let me see if I can use a tip. Because I'm not about to waste all my products. To just give you a little swatch. Yeah, it was just enough to give you a little swatch there. Look at that. I know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be using this stuff. I did put it in there. This is like Sephora concealer. No. That's a Sephora primer. This is a concealer. And I have two Hostages formula. And then a Maybelline matte. I'm not going to use these products. So the deal here is that I put products that I either want to use for next week or, you know, or I, you know, sometime during the week I'm like, oh, I haven't used that one. I'll just put it in the, in the basket. See if I want to use it. You know, shop a little bit. The ba Shop my basket. We're going to call that shop my basket time. You know. <laughs> And, you know, if you don't like this, I'll try something out. If you do, please tell me. Um, and I'll figure something out. Please like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up this video if you like it and thumbs down if you don't. So, yes, I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.